Welcome to PAD 4374, The Introduction to Terrorism. My name is John Bailey, and I'll be giving the presentation today on the Communist Party of the Philippines and the North Filipino Army, their military branch. Philippine Islands, located right here. Here's China, Vietnam, and the northern tip of Australia. There's a lot of islands. They speak about 80 different languages, but they have two predominant main languages. It's a democratic form of government. Currently, at the filming of this, they enjoy an unemployment rate of 6.8% and inflation is 9.3. One of the major exports and resources of the Philippine Islands is mining. They have dolomite, copper, and gold mines. We're all very much aware of the increased price of copper and gold. The mines themselves are located all throughout the islands, and they're predominantly owned by foreign companies. This is a problem for the Communist Party of the Philippines. They want them owned by the people, for the people, yet they've never proposed any formal plan on how they would run these major operations or how they would handle it. The Communist Party of the Philippines was founded in 1969. They're a Maoist communist group. They claim to be a guerrilla warfare unit with the aim of overthrowing the democratic government of the Philippines. But in guerrilla warfare, you have armed units. They attack enemy forces. They seize and hold territory, exercise sovereignty over the population in the territory. The Communist Party of the Philippines and the North People, the New People's Army, they target the security forces, government officials, local leaders, and the foreign-owned businesses, where they get revolution taxes, where they blackmail the mining companies for money. They are intolerant. It's the communist way or no way, good versus evil, capitalism versus communism. They're morally absolute, and what they're doing is right. They're morally correct in their actions, and they make the broad conclusions, as we mentioned earlier about the mining, that it needs to belong to them, but they have no formal plan. So even though they, pretend, they operate as a guerrilla warfare by their own decree, in all reality, they uh, do not. It's more of a terrorist organization. In 2002, they were listed by the EU and the U.S. as a formal terrorist organization. The Republic of the Philippines is not without its own problems. The governmental type is a constitutional democracy. They have a president, vice president, cabinet. In 1987, the current constitution they use now was ratified. But from 1946 till now... They've had contested elections, violence, fraud, military campaigns, more fraud, martial law, coup attempts, violent, violence, significant economic difficulties, government payoffs, more violence, they had a president impeach, uh, most recently they had ballot irregularities. With the people not having any faith in the government, and most of the judicial branch is uh, politically appointed, and there's known corruption through there, it does give the Communist Party of the Philippines a foothold for their um, for their plan. They've never won a free and open election. Uh, if they were able to drum up enough support for the communist view of government, then they would be able to successfully change the Republic of the Philippines into the Democratic People's Republic. But they've been unsuccessful in doing so, so they resort to uh, terrorism and whatever means possible to overthrow the government. In the 41 years of the armed conflict, 40,000 people are dead. The military of the Philippines keeps escalating. The uh, New People's Army keeps retaliating. Uh, there's been peace talks. They've, they've not been successful. Neither side will back down. There have been many uh, accusations of child, war, uh, child warriors. And here we have a picture of a 10- to 12-year-old girl holding what we believe to be an AK-47 as an active uh, NPA recruit and military person. Things are not going to get better in the Philippines until we can address the economic issues and bring stability and reliability to the government where people can trust their government and believe in it, have uh, property pro private property rights respected, and people will feel a lot better. The, com co the country will do a lot better and the um, communists will not have the uh, propaganda that they have currently to use. So this is our brief introduction to it. Thank you for tuning in.